Yes, yeah, Sarah, it is a, an exciting day for Aston Martin. Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Um, your stock has gotten a recent bump from this investment from Geely Auto Group. Uh, they're, of course, the Chinese auto group that owns Volvo and other brands. They just bought about close to $300 million in stock from you, your personal group, as well as from the company. What will you do with those proceeds? And are you, do you think that Geely could take an even larger stake in Aston Martin going forward? Um, first of all, good to see you again. Uh, the share price has gone up not only because of Geely, but because of the trajectory of the business, of, uh, of everything I've said we will do the last three years is now coming to fruition, including this beautiful new brand center. Um, Geely are very shrewd investors. They believe the share price is extremely undervalued and saw a fantastic growth share price opportunity. In addition, we're of the same mindset and they believe in my vision of how to grow the business, this building this next great ultra luxury high performance brand. And they believe they could have, play a part in that, play a part in it in a couple of ways of helping with components for, for our vehicles. As you know, small volume manufacturers like ourselves need help, like our relationship we have, our technical agreement with Mercedes. As you know, they're also a 10% shareholder in Mercedes, so it keeps it in the family. And also they'll help us with growth in China. So they could really accelerate our business plan in China using their muscle, which China should be our second largest market after right here. Are you concerned right now, given the political tension between the US, which I assume is your largest market, and China as a partner about that relationship and that supply chain? Uh, we're not concerned at all. You know, Geely is probably the most westernized of Chinese companies. You know, they also own Volvo. So, uh, no, it, it, it's not a, a, a China issue for us at all. And this design center, tell us about what this means for the business and just the importance of customization for your bottom line, which I guess in the U.S., that customization program grew 92% last year. What's happening? Why is that such a powerful driver right now of the business? Well, well as I, I said three years ago, we started as executive chairman. Again, we're out to build the ultra-luxury, high-performance, greatest brand in the world. And part of the journey was first delivering our fantastic DBX SUV. It took 20%, in some countries, 25% of the market share in the luxury, high-performance SUV market. Quite incredible after two years. Uh, UK being the first, US here being the second. And through that experience, we said personalization will become a very big part, particularly in our DBX 707, the second SUV we launched. And we've seen a tremendous uptake in personalization. You know, in, in, first thing I did aligning demand with supply and really turning this into operating as a true luxury business, which we have, only manufacturing to orders. We've really seen customers want to take and make their cars exclusive, make it personal to them, as is happening in the whole luxury sector. I don't only think it's automotive. And, and, you know, the second part of the journey was delivering on all our new generation of sports cars, which took the last three years to, to produce. And we're coming out with our first one tonight, and we unveiled it three weeks ago in Cannes, and tonight in the United States, our DB12, our first of our new generation sports cars, many to follow in the next 24 months. So that was the next big part of our journey. And the last part of the journey was in order to really be a luxury company, you have to have a customer luxury experience. There's no better luxury experience, I hope you will agree, than walking into this great brand center. There's unlimited amounts of personalization you could do, being in a very great environment, a very English traditional great room here to sit and order your very special and customize your very special Aston Martin. So this is the last check in the box, the last piece of the puzzle to come together from where I started three and a half years ago to now the customer experience. And of course, wrap this all up with our Formula One team, which is having a fantastic year on track, performing really great as a trickle down effect over the whole brand. So it's uh, quite exciting times, I'd say. Aston Martin's on fire right now.